वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री डैश ट्वेंटी वन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मटेरियल्स एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आरसी हेबलर स्टेटमेंट इज द टू बार्स आर मेड ऑफ पोलिस्टाइरिन व्हिच हैज द स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम शोन इफ द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ बार ए बी इज वन स्क्वेयर इंच एंड बी सी इज फोर स्क्वेयर इंच डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट फोर स्पी दैट कैन बी सपोर्टेड बिफोर एनी मेम्बर रेपचर्स assume the buckling does not occur so you can see this are two bars this is bar bc and this is bar ab at this point we have pin supported and ca is also pin supported here we have a p load the stress strain diagram for this bar, two bars are given for the tension for member tension this will be the stress strain curve and for the member which are in compression will be follow this stress strain curve so you have to find the largest load p that can be applied before any member rupture so let's start with the solution so what will be the first step is that we will use we will use method of joint method of joint at b in order to find the forces in cb and ab so you can see due to this load p clear this bar cb will be in tension and this ab will in compression clear so while taking the method of joint at b so this bar cb will exert a force on b at this direction similarly the bar at uh, the bar ab will exert a force on at point b in this direction so let me draw the free body diagram this is point b clear where we have a load p that is acting downward here the the force that member c b exert on point b will be this f c b and the member the load that this member a b act on point b will be this one and this is an inclined force this is f a b now you can see the ratio of this their side this is 3 feet this is 5 feet so horizontal will be 3 feet vertical will be uh, horizontal is 4 feet and vertical is 3 feet so this hypotenuse will be 5 feet and we can find its horizontal and vertical component by using equation of equilibrium so what will be the first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so one force which is p is acting downward so minus p plus the vertical component of this force so it have two force one is this and other one is this so this component will be if you take this is theta clear so let this is theta so what will be sin theta so sin theta will be equal to 3 over 5 and what will be cos theta so cos theta is equal to 4 over 5 base by hypotenuse so vertical component will be fab sin theta will be equal to 0 so minus p plus fab and sin theta is equal to 3 over 5 is equal to 0 so it means that 3 over 5 fab is equal to p and from here we will get fab will be equal to 1.6667 times p now we will apply another equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so fcb is acting in opposite direction so i will write f bc clear the horizontal component of this will be like this and this will be equal to f ab cos of theta uh, let me write it plus f ab cos of theta is 4 by 5 clear is equal to 0 so from here you will get f bc is equal to 4 over 5 time f a b now you have you know that f a b is 1.66 1.6667 times p so you can put the value and at the end you will get this f b c 
and FBC will comes out to be 1.333 times P. Now you have both FAB and FBC. So what we will do is that we will first assume, assuming failure of, assuming failure of bar BC. From this figure, you can see that due to this load, the bar BC will be in tension. So you will use this stress strain diagram. So from this stress strain diagram, rupture stress due to tensile loads comes out to be 5. Clear? So we can write 5 KSI. We know that stress is equal to force per unit area. So for this member BC, we will have rupture due to tension, tension will be equal to FBC divided by area of BC. So what we have is 5 KSI is equal to FBC divided by area of BC is 4 square inch. So 4. So from here you will get this FBC will be equal to 20 kips. Now you have this FBC is 20 kips. So you can see you can put it in this equation. So what you will get is that 20 is equal to 1.333 times P. So what you will get is that P load on P load due to this member BC. And this P loads comes out to be 15 kips. So this is one load that is due to the uh, member BC. Now what we will do is that we will use assume, assuming failure of bar BC, AB, AB. You can see that due to this load, this bar AB is in compression, clear? So we will use this rupture stress due to compression. So I will write rupture due to compression is equal to 25 KSI from stress strain diagram and this rupture due to compression is equal to FAB divided by area of AB. So from here we FAB will be equal to rupture due to compression into area of AB. So you have both the value 25 multiplied by area of AB is 0, 1.5 square inch. So 1.5 and you will get this force in member AB. So this force in member AB comes out to be 37.5 K. Now this is the force FAB. So you can just put it in this equation. FAB is 1.66 times. FAB is equal to 1.6667 times P. So from here P will be equal to FAB divided by 1.6667. So put the value 37.5 divided by 1.6667 and you will get this P will be equal to 22.5 kips. So this is the load P that is due to remember AB. Now we have two value. One is this one. Another one is this one. So we will choose the largest load. We will choose the largest load that can be applied on this system will be P will be equal to 15 kips because this will be the safer load. So we will choose smaller one. And that is the largest load that can be applied on the system. So this was all about this problem 3-21. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. Also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing further. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.